Chotki. This sleepy hamlet doesn't just look like a lost paradise. The remote village located in a tiger reserve is not connected to the electricity grid, cutting off its 600 residents from the developed world. Most people here are farmers. They still follow a traditional way of life. But things are changing. For the first time, Chotki's residents have access to electricity, provided by this 30 kilowatt solar power plant set up earlier this year. It's part of a green technology project, the brainchild of social entrepreneur Ashok Das. We had given them 200 watts. He's partnered with local authorities to create India's first smart village in Odisha. Ashok's company has developed a smart nanogrid technology that allows the village's entire electrical infrastructure to be monitored remotely by the company's staff. Meters and sensors collect data on energy consumption making it easy to remotely manage supply and demand. Villagers pay tariffs based on how much energy they use. The company has also trained local youth from the village to monitor the system and detect any faults or overloading. They can even carry out basic repairs on the spot, ensuring the equipment is well maintained and running smoothly. Ashok says the model can be a game changer. By doing smart microgrid, what we are creating, we are creating a basic infrastructure we are creating a catalytic infrastructure on which many services will ride. Irrigation will ride, agricultural production will ride, uh, food processing can be done, cold storage can be done, health services will come, tele-education services will come. All of these together provide the development for the village. Many in the village are sensing new opportunities. Shrikant Adavar recently bought a photocopying machine and printer. In a makeshift office, he makes copies of ID cards and land deeds for his customers, as well as takes passport-sized photos. It's a crucial service in rural India, where citizens need those documents to apply for government loans and open bank accounts. Earlier, people had to travel 50 kilometers to the nearest town to get their documents photocopied. So I thought, now that we have reliable electricity, why don't I provide the services right here? It saves villagers time and money, and I supplement my own income. Existing businesses, too, are seeing the benefits of uninterrupted access to power. As night falls, many can continue to operate. Street vendor Prabhakar Pusti also runs a grocery store. He now plans to invest in a fridge and offer cold drinks to his customers. Since we have electricity, my business has definitely improved. My shop can stay open till late in the night. I get more customers. For most villagers, the biggest changes since electricity arrived are simple. Street lights provide safety from wild animals, a priority in this tiger reserve. A few households have now got television sets, providing entertainment and drawing a large young audience tonight. Some even get to attend a coaching class in the village and do homework in the evening. Power that empowers. There are now plans to replicate Chotki's smart village model in other Indian states.